Alrighty, y'all. You already know what time it is. Gonna get y'all back at it with another important video, important message for y'all. Don't mind my toes. Don't mind my toes. Um, I put this blue light on because it makes me feel more serious. It makes me get into the um, the topic that I'm about to talk about right now. So, um, bear with me. I'm. <clears throat> I was writing and researching this all yesterday, so I don't have it by memory, so I'm just going to read some of the concepts and what we have going on for this video and for the rest of the channel. Um, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, get this channel to, uh, we're at 150, so let's get this channel to 200 subscribers. I just, whoo, my bad. That just shakes my core, because, like, I remember when it was, like, 10. But 200 subscribers is the next objective, so. Alright, let's get excited. So, as you know, FMF family, um, part of my flesh, FMF, um, is a project that I started this year. Um, I've had it in my mind to last year or whatever. Um, just helping each other, helping ourselves every day. Cause I know it's, it's, when we struggle, we struggle. We squabble, we fight. We, all these sins, all these daily activities that sometimes take us away from the Lord and away from ourselves. So my number one impact for uh the FMF logo right now is the hopes of. Uh, the adult film um, entertainment series of our life in our chapter. So I'm going to just go off by reading it. It says, FMF. My new, fam my new uh, clothing brand for my new clothing brand I want to focus more on impact of OnlyFans and pornography uh, and like the struggles basically of how it struggle, how we struggle with it. So uh yeah so i'm gonna read so it does the, the number one it, it affects you mentally the negative effects of pornography of men can be wide-ranging affecting mentally emotionally physically health and in key areas so for the mental and emotional health part it says the addiction the addiction to pornography pornography can be addictive leading to compulsive behaviors and consistent need for more extreme content. Um, anxiety and depression. Overuse can contribute to mental health issues like anxiety, depression, and steaming of feelings of guilt, shame, dissatisfaction to oneself. So with that being said, that's how I have been feeling um, completely. Uh, I don't know if many people know this, but I was introduced to pornography at a very young age. So um i've been a user for about 10 years and i mean that in itself is like it shocks me because i can say that and i'm not lying so uh, yeah and i do have these feelings of guilt especially after the deed is done or whatever um i have shame when i'm watching it because i feel like i shouldn't be but i'm it's like an addiction. Um, dissatisfaction with oneself, sometimes after or sometimes just even during the day, like I am dissatisfied with myself because I know that I did it or I know I watched it. So yeah, that, um, just from my perspective, uh, I'm, I'm grateful that you guys are listening and if you guys don't wanna listen, you guys don't have to, but yeah, uh, give me ones in the chat. Give me one in the, uh, if if y'all are watching this video and y'all understand, y'all kind of feel how I'm feeling, give me a one in the comments. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Um, okay, let's get to the next one. So desensitize, desensitize, when you desensitize yourself, basically. So regular consumption of pornography can desensitize individuals in real sexual experiences and emotional intimacy. In, in, to, in, 
intimacy. There it goes. My bad. So yeah. Um, uh, in that sense, um, uh, basically, sometimes, um, uh, like even like I'm married, as you guys know, um, but sometimes like, uh, maybe I have expectations that are not fully met just because or like sometimes I feel like their expectations are not fully met because I'm not doing my part so yeah um, maybe you know, I want to do something different and I don't really feel like they're up to it so I don't really even come out and say it um, maybe they're into something different and they're not or I'm not receptive of what they want so I'm not going to do it basically so, yeah, um, other than that, it's really been, um, yeah, that's really how I have for that. Um, oh yeah, the next one is unrealistic expectations. So, pornography can portray unrealistic and exaggerated depictions of sex, which can lead to disappointments and frustrations in real relationships. So, that one, um... I feel like the desensitization and the unrealistic expectations in my mind right now are like so, um, they're like, they're neck and neck and they come together. So it's like, I'm desensitized and I, and I like, um, see me, I see women, my bad, I'm not gay. I see women as sometimes I seem like it's just something to fuck. That sounds bad, but... I'm just like, I'm probably gonna have to beep the word out, but yeah. Um, it's just like, maybe, like, I see somebody in the, like, it can be anything. Like, there's so much, like, it's such a, a broad, and that's how they want it. The porn industry wants it to, like, anything can be sexualized. And, um, like, say somebody's cleaning on the floor, and then you go behind them, and you're like, oh. I seen that video, we can like, get this shit cracking. Or, um, I seen many of videos. I'm not, I don't wanna indulge in the videos that I've watched because I'm ashamed of all the, the women that I was sexually immoral with and I lusted over. And that's how I've been feeling. It's like, um, just fixing that. Not really wanting that on me, uh, that dirt in my life, basically. So, um, disappointment as well. Yeah, so I'm, I feel like you know, in most of my relationships, besides this one, that uh, I was consuming so much pornography and like um, having so many different sexual thoughts that. I don't really take women or girls' feelings seriously, especially um, like everybody I dated before this. Uh, I did not. And it seems so sad and it seems so bad because um, it was bad, I think. And But I wasn't thinking like that before, so I'm realizing I'm gaining this mindset as I'm growing. Um, but yeah. So those are the five mental and health, emotional, um, really effects on our life right now that are kind of like down in us. And I know that um, not everybody wants to talk about it. Not everybody wants to come out and say it. I feel like some people uh, feel like they have to become like a Christian or um, become religious to get away from that sense and sometimes it's the best option but i feel like as humans and as parents guardians uh friends loved ones i don't feel like anybody should be subjected to pornography or the weapon of pornography um yeah because like we really like imagine your son is watching that and shoot, okay, imagine this. Imagine you're one of the film stars and your son's watching you do your shit on your video. And now he wants, to, he, he's, he's either getting teased about it because somebody else seen you 
or he wants to do what you're doing. And then when does that stop? And, and that's just the example that I chose to use right now. But um, yeah, I just feel like there should be a cease to adult, adult filmmaking. I feel like it's not moral, it's not right. I mean, people like to see it. I feel like I've indulged in it so much that um, my body loves to see, my, not my body, my, my brain loves to see it, but my body feels disgusted when, he, when it sees it. And that's like, that's just how I feel. But um, let me know if you guys like this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know if you guys feel the same way. Give me a, what was it? A one in the, in the comment section if this uh, hit home with you. And let me know, give me a two if you want to see another one. Um, I got a lot of topics. That was like the first five topics of the book that I'm trying to uh, create for us. So yeah, be in touch with that. Um, I love you guys. You guys are my own. Um, stay strong. And the world is, it is evil, but we can make it better. Peace. Love and happiness.